Good afternoon, the Secretary General. So we need to ramp up production and invest in our production capacity. NATO has just completed an extraordinary survey of our munition stockpiles, and we plan to increase our targets for munition stockpiles through the NATO defence planning process. The, do you believe that this is the start of the major Russian yeah. offensive that you've well, been wanting? Well, I, I think the reality is that we have seen the start already, because we've seen what, what, what Russia does now, President Putin uh, do now, is to send in thousands of thousands of more troops, um, accepting a very high rate of casualty. The most important message uh, is that we see no sign whatsoever that uh, President Putin is preparing for peace or ready to negotiate uh, something uh, which will respect uh, the territorial integrity and sovereignty of uh, Ukraine. Uh, uh, what we see is that President Putin and Russia uh, still wants to control Ukraine. Um, and therefore, uh, the only way to ensure that Ukraine prevails as a sovereign nation is to continue to provide uh, military support to Ukraine. We'll go to Tzedef. There is now a, 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 a discussion going on also on the question of, uh, of uh, aircraft. And I expect that also to be uh, addressed uh, tomorrow at the meetings here in uh, Brussels. Uh, but let me add two things, and that is that one is speed, urgency. Because whatever the opinion may be about aircraft, that will take time. What is needed now is urgent support for Ukraine. So, so Ukraine can be in position to deter any further aggression. That's perhaps the most important thing. Uh, and of course, the industry has the capability to increase the production. This concludes this press conference. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.